Which math courses should we consider if the program may have students who would transfer to a four-year school? It starts at Math 1270, Intermediate Algebra, and Math 1280, Advanced Intermediate Algebra. Math 1270 continues the Math 910, Math 95, and Math 960 sequence and discusses quadratic equations, such as maximizing a quadratic profit function or finding the highest height an object reaches when tossed into the air, radicals including finding the distances between two points, and exponential and logarithmic functions and their role in solving exponential growth and decay problems as found in finance and life sciences. This course only leads to Math 1370, Math 1410, and Math 1470. Let's look at an example. Math 1280 leads to all higher level math courses and includes the same topics as Math 1270, along with complex numbers, which is a future topic for certain engineering majors, conics, which can be used to build satellite receivers and bridges, and a few others. Click below for a description of why we went away from Math 1200, the former intermediate algebra, along with the topics covered in both courses. Let's look at an example from Math 1280. Anything on the flowchart that is colored blue will transfer. Math 1270 and Math 1280 may transfer, but they are not guaranteed to. We tell students to ensure that the college they are going to next will accept those courses. In this video, we'll focus more on liberal arts mathematics, which are in blue at the bottom left of the flowchart. Let's begin with Math 1370 and Math 1380 elementary and middle school teacher one and two respectively. These courses prepare future math educators going into elementary and middle schools. They have a stronger emphasis on concepts and historical topics and also teach problem solving strategies to be shared with future students. The mathematical topics covered include number theory, geometry, statistics, and probability. Click below for more information. Next up, we have Math 1410 and Math 1420, Elementary Probability and Statistics 1 and 2, respectively. These courses cover probability, statistics, distributions, correlations, and hypothesis testing. Let's look at an example from each course. We also have Math 1490 and Math 1500, Business Probability and Statistics 1 and 2, respectively, which is basically a Math 1410-1420 sequence that focuses only on business applications. Let's look at an example from each of those. Our last sequence to round off the liberal arts side of things is our Math 1470 and Math 1480, Modern Math for Business and Social Sciences 1 and 2. The courses are often called Finite Mathematics and Business Calculus at other colleges. Math 1470 is a more in-depth version of Math 1250, Contemporary Mathematics. It covers the same topics but in greater detail. It includes linear programming by the simplex method, 
which can be used to minimize or maximize a goal such as profit or caloric intake under certain restrictions. It will also teach matrices, probability, and basic concepts of finance, including amortization, future value, and savings and loans. Let's look at an example from Math 1470. Math 1480 will continue these concepts of finance but add topics such as finding when revenue or profit functions increase or decrease or when they are maximized or minimized. We also discuss optimization techniques such as minimizing the cost of producing an item or ordering a product. As you can tell, these courses focus most of their applications on business related topics. Let's look at an example from Math 1480. For more information, please select another video.